Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about Georgia. From the Black Sea to the Caucasus Mountains, the country of Georgia is packed with stunning landscapes, intriguing cities and centuries of history. And now it is becoming a tourist destination. Today the population of the country is 3,700,000 people. To fully appreciate what Georgia was able to achieve since it became independent, you gotta know what it was like just 20 years ago. And back then, the average salary was about $50 a month. Crime was rampant and in some areas, electricity was available just two hours per day. Then in 2003 came the Rose Revolution and the opposition party of Mikhail Saakashvili came to power and that was the beginning of the new Georgia. Upon arrival, first thing is going to surprise you is the road infrastructure. They built modern highways connecting major cities. The highway system doesn't cover all the cities yet, but they're getting there. Along the roads you see modern rest areas with restaurants and even wind turbines. Second thing that's going to surprise you is the police. If you're familiar with ex-USSR countries, you know that bribes and corruption are ubiquitous. And Georgia was no exception until they did a police reform and the public trust in the law enforcement skyrocketed to 87% from just 5%. The old police staff were let go and the new police officers were recruited. Today they can even speak English, which is helpful. Third is the lack of bureaucracy. Actually, Georgia is now the sixth country in the world in ease of doing business rankings. Even ahead of the US, Britain and Norway. Wow! Paperwork has been reduced to a minimum and selling your apartment is gonna take less than one hour. Fourth, they put a lot of effort into the development of international tourism. Just 15 years ago, hardly anybody knew about places like Kaheri and Svaneri, but it's all changed now. Let's take a look at some exciting parts of Georgia. If you love wine, then you're gonna love this eastern region of Georgia, known as Kaheri. It's rich in history and there are many beautiful churches and castles. So we went to the east of Tbilisi and this region is famous for its winemaking. As you can see all these vineyards. Let me show you this castle that we came to see. Kaheri, and especially the Alazani Valley, is the biggest wine region of Georgia and it's considered the cradle of wine. There are hundreds of small and large wineries. Almost anywhere you go, you'll be invited to taste a glass of wine. The town of Signahi, located on a steep hill, overlooks the vast Alazani Valley and it's famous for its picturesque landscapes and narrow cobblestone streets. If you love mountains, you gotta visit this other destination, Kisbegi. The road from the capital city of Tbilisi to Kisbegi is known as the Georgian Military Road and it's very picturesque. You'll be passing Zhinvali Water Reservoir. The dam was built in 1986, creating a beautiful artificial lake with a perfect blue surface. Ananuri Castle, an old fortress that was constructed in the 18th century it might be one of the most beautiful churches in Georgia. Here, surprisingly, we met some Chinese newlyweds and not only Chinese for that matter. There are two rivers flowing along the Georgian military road, black and white Arakvi rivers. The confluence of these rivers is at a place called Panauri. Really beautiful and unique. As you move further, you're gonna end up in Gudauri. It's the most famous Georgian ski resort. The ski season here lasts from December to April. Heli skiing is also available and did I mention spa treatments, paragliding and tubing? Gudauri has more than 64 kilometers of ski runs and 15 lifts. Unfortunately, sometimes tourism development has its downsides. Next stop is the Soviet Georgian Friendship Memorial. Built in the 1980s, this unique semicircular stone structure 
is located in a very scenic place surrounded by dramatic peaks. You can rent ATVs to explore the area. The views are mind-blowing, but in May it's still pretty chilly to be honest. And finally, at the end of the Georgian military road, Kesbek, one of the major mountains of the Caucasus, with an elevation of 5,000 meters. Kesbek is in fact a potentially active volcano. The main attraction here is the Gergedi Trinity Church. The road to this church is pretty scary. Some stretches of the road are falling down, literally. Its location is what makes it so special. It is perched 2,200 meters high on a mountain overlooking the small town of Stepansminda, surrounded by snowy peaks on all sides. What are the things to do in this area? Well, you can try hiking to the glacier, rafting and horseback riding. By the way, Russia is just 10 kilometers from here. Do you like parks and mineral water springs? Well, then you gotta go to Burjami. Burjami is a resort town in central Georgia. It's known for its mineral water springs in Burjami Central Park. Nearby, trails wind through the vast wilderness of the park. We actually rented a 4x4 vehicle to take us to the springs as we didn't want to walk too far. This is off-road, baby. Some really beautiful hotel buildings here. Nature, everything, the weather is perfect. It's a nice place to visit in Georgia. And finally, the most exciting and remote destination, the region of Svaneri. This region is in the northwest of the country, and it's so remote and difficult to get to that road conditions can sometimes make it inaccessible, and actually it wasn't reachable by car until 1935. The main city of the region is Mestia. This place is dotted with defensive stone structures built from the 9th century to the 14th century. They were once protecting the villagers from invaders. Svaneri is an ancient land and is the home of the Svans. This unique culture survived for thousands of years because of its remoteness. These locals still plow their fields by hand and livestock freely roam the streets. The Svan language is actually 1000 years older than Georgian. In the winter time there's a ski resort here and in the summertime you can use the chairlift to take you up the mountain and enjoy the scenery. In the evening you can go to one of the local cafes and enjoy traditional music and dances. Today this place gets tourists from all over, rainy and peaceful. But that's what Mestia is all about. Now let's take a look at different cities of Georgia. Gori is a city in eastern Georgia with a population of 48,000 people. Gori Fortress is a medieval structure sitting above the city on a rocky hill. This fortress first appears in the 13th century records. This is the city of Gori and you can see a football stadium in the distance and that round building is a police station. There is a museum dedicated to the life of Joseph Stalin, the leader of Soviet Union, who was born here, and Virgin Mary Cathedral, built in 1810. Aplistehe is a rock-hewn city located just 10 kilometers east of Gori. There are about 700 caves here. Aplistehe and the surrounding archaeological monuments date back to the early Bronze Age. Lots of lizards in the area, like this one. Next city, Kutaisi, is the third most populous city in Georgia. They call it the city of May and Roses. And in fact, I've seen a lot of roses in front of people's houses. The city is located on the Riani River. It's the capital of the western region of Georgia, called Emereti. From 2012 to 2018, Kutaisi was briefly the seat of the Parliament of Georgia as an effort to decentralize the Georgian government. The city enjoys a humid subtropical climate and there's palm trees everywhere. Some of the main tourist attractions are Colchis Fountain on the Central Square, Begradi Cathedral that was built in the 11th century, it's sitting on a hill and people come here to enjoy the views of the city. 
And while we're here, let's listen to the local musicians. The resort city of Batumi. This is a Black Sea resort and a port city. This coastal city has undergone an extreme facelift, which makes it the perfect example of Georgia's transformation under Mikhail Saakashvili. Much of Batumi's economy revolves around tourism and gambling. Tourists are flocking to Batumi and casinos are sprouting like mushrooms, drawing an estimated 400,000 visitors a year, mainly from Turkey where gambling is illegal. It actually takes 15 minutes to drive to the Turkish border from here. The Old Town District is lined with renovated 19th century buildings, Europe Square, Cathedral of the Mother of God, Piazza Square and others. The best thing about Batumi is its 10 km long Batumi Boulevard. It is absolutely great. Come here to watch stunning sunsets. There are amazing sculptures and lots of activity at all times of the day. Did you know that Donald Trump was going to build a hotel in Batumi, but he had to back out when he decided to run for president? Some of the things to see in Batumi, Gonia Fortress, Ali and Nino statue, Batumi Botanical Garden, Cha Cha Clock Tower, and dancing fountains. And finally, the capital of Georgia, Tbilisi, with a population of over 1 million people. This ancient and vibrant city spreads out on both banks of the Mtkwari River. The main sites of the city are clustered in the old city. This area is well known for its sulfur bathhouses fed by natural hot springs. To enjoy the city view from above, take one of the modern cable cars straight up to the 4th century Narikala fortress, which looms over the city and is guarded by Mother of Georgia monument. Lots of modern architecture too. Bridge of Peace, House of Justice, Reich Park. And if you want to get away from the sun on a hot summer day, you might want to go to National Botanic Garden of Georgia. Holy Trinity Cathedral can be seen from most parts of the city. Another interesting spot is the Metehi Church and the statue of King Vartan Gorgasali. The busiest and most popular street in the city is Rustaveli Avenue. It begins at Freedom Square and extends for about 2 kilometers. Strolling down Rustaveli Avenue, you can observe daily life of the city, listen to the street musicians and have a fresh squeezed juice. In the local National Museum, they also have a museum of Soviet occupation and at the same time they have a Stalin museum in the city of Gori. So it's interesting how they have the two museums peacefully coexisting in one country. Agmashina Belly is another street you gotta visit. It has some gorgeous historic buildings and distinctive architecture as well as some great restaurants and cafes. Lots of interesting places outside of the city too. Jvari, a 6th century monastery, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Mtsheta, the oldest city in Georgia. The Black Sea is very far from Tbilisi, but they have a Tbilisi Sea instead. It's actually a large water reservoir. What about the Georgian cuisine? Do you love meat? Do you love spicy food? Then you're gonna enjoy Georgian cuisine. Every region of Georgia has its own kind of cuisine. Hinkali is one of the most famous Georgian dishes. It's basically juicy dumplings and the proper way to eat them is you hold the crown, which you don't eat with your right hand, then you slowly and carefully bite a small hole in the Hinkali and drink the delicious juice inside and then you eat the rest. Hachapuri is a traditional Georgian dish of cheese-filled bread. The most popular variation, a Jarian, has an open boat shape and it's topped with a raw egg. Church Hella is a traditional Georgian candle-shaped candy. Nuts and sometimes raisins are threaded onto a string, then dipped into thickened grape juice and then dried in the shape of a sausage. There is a good choice of drinks like lemonades and of course wines. 
There are wine shops on every corner. Georgia is one of the oldest wine regions in the world. But what about the people? Well, Georgians are famous for their hospitality. Young Georgians are now very different from the older generation. Young Georgians, especially in big cities, speak good English. And the older generation speaks Russian. And they remember the times of the Soviet Union and some of them are still very nostalgic about it. I was once invited to the table with Georgians and it was a great experience. Lots of delicious food, lawn toasts and songs. The signs in the streets now reflect the gradual change from Russian language to English. If you see community center in a small Georgian town, wow, that sounds so American. The United States is actively assisting Georgia in strengthening its state institutions and has provided the country with financial assistance in excess of three billion dollars since 1991. And Georgians seem to appreciate that a lot. American people, very nice people. Hello, America. Kamarjoba, America. Salaries are still pretty low. The official figure is about $350 a month, but the real number is even lower. It's about anywhere from $110 to $180 a month. That's definitely not a lot, but it's a big step forward from $50 a month they used to have. Georgia is one of the few ex USSR countries that took their destiny in their own hands and now trying to establish themselves on the world tourist map and build a competitive economy. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. There'll be more videos coming.